Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So a new update is rolling out for the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and this update brings couple of new camera features from the new flagship, the Galaxy S21. Now the change log doesn't really say all that much, it just says improved performance, camera, but in fact this update does bring couple of new camera features. And if you want the wallpaper, the link is in the video description. Alright, so let's go ahead and fire up the camera and we will go to night mode because they have added a new feature to maximize the exposure when you are clicking photos in the night mode. So for this, I will have to cover up the camera lens to simulate a dark room. So you will see a new button over here which says auto and you can tap on this button and you get two options auto and max and if you tap on max, this will maximize the exposure to 11 seconds as opposed to 6 seconds in the auto mode. So this feature allows you to maximize the camera's exposure in the night mode. So this used to be a feature of the new flagship, the Galaxy S21. Now they are adding this to the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. Secondly, if you go to the pro video mode, you can now use the ultra wide angle camera to record videos. And same goes for the pro mode. You can now use the ultra wide angle lens to click photos. But the fun part is this update also enables the ultra wide angle camera to record 4K at 60 FPS. So we will go back into the pro video mode and make sure the video resolution is selected to UHD 60 that is 4K 60. And now you can change the camera to the ultra wide angle and still record videos at 4K 60 FPS which was not possible before. So I can press on the record button and record videos at 4K 60. So this is also a new feature and this is only available in the pro video. If I go into the regular video mode and select 4K 60, I will not be able to shift to the ultra wide angle lens. So you can only do this in the pro video. Use the ultra wide angle camera to record videos at 4K 60 FPS. And because the ultra wide angle camera can now do 4K 60, I think it can also do full HD 60 FPS. Yes, it can. So here's the thing guys, I think all three of these cameras are capable of recording videos at 4K 60. I think Samsung has just disabled that feature in the normal video mode. So in the near future, I would like to see Samsung enable 4K 60 FPS recording on the ultra wide angle camera and the telephoto camera in the normal video mode. I think it will be possible since the ultra wide angle camera can already do 4K 60. I think the telephoto camera will also be capable of doing 4K at 60 FPS. Now to show you guys the next set of features, I had to reposition my camera. Hopefully everything is clearly visible. So we will launch the camera and we will go into the portrait mode. So more tab and portrait. And what I will do here is switch to the front facing camera. Now Samsung has added a couple of new effects. So if you tap on this button, you will see a couple of new effects over here. So the blur effect is the default effect. The next one is called studio. So this is a new effect and it kind of lets you add a little bit of lighting on your face as you can see. Then the next one is called high key mono. This will make the background white. Then you have low key mono, this will make the background black. And the next one is called backdrop, which picks the background color automatically. Unfortunately, it's a bit difficult to demonstrate on video because my camera is right in the frame and the phone is kind of getting confused. But yeah, this kind of gives you an idea of how these new features work. All right, so I guess that's pretty much all there is to it, guys. I've spent more than an hour trying to figure out stuff that is new, and really these four new features are the ones that are worth mentioning. Unfortunately, this phone is never gonna get direct as view because of the limitation of the hardware. And also, there is no focus enhancer that is included on the Note 20 Ultra, but is there on the Galaxy S21. So unfortunately, those new features aren't gonna come to this phone. So I guess that's pretty much all there is to it guys. Let's end the video right over here. And if you've enjoyed watching the video, make sure to subscribe and like the video. Then follow me on my social media accounts. I will put all the links in the video description. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.